and we're recording. So, send send your camera. Okay, hi. Welcome to the fourth episode of Seth Stuff. I'm Seth, and in this episode, I will be featuring my ever trusty electric bike, which I named Reddit because he's red. <laughs> So before my love for gas fueled scooters began, there was this e-bike that I considered as my best friend. I had a relationship with this e-bike mula noon hanggang ngayon. So watch this. Actually, I just bought Reddit, my red e-bike, last year. So we may still consider him new. I am really a newbie rider. I just got my driver's license sa Pagmomotor last January of this year, 2022 lang. And itong e-bike na ito ang ginagamit kong pampractice since my partner didn't want me to use our Vespa for practicing. Baka sumemp lang ako at kawawa naman ang Vespa at hindi ako... Siguro, I'll create an episode where I'll share my journey learning how to ride a motorcycle up to getting a driver's license just to give confidence to middle-aged guys like me that they can still learn how to ride easily, especially those who never learned how to ride a bicycle when they were still a kid. But for now, focus tayo kay Reddit. Reddit is a Li Huan, a Chinese brand that I bought at Tondo, Manila. Honestly, when I was still choosing for an e-bike, I fell in love with the likes of new and e-cooler. These are really beautiful head-turning e-bikes with top-notch high-tech features. However, they are way pricier than most e-bikes and gas fueled bikes as well. Depending on the model or variant that can give the maximum top speed of the bike, an e-cooler or new e-bike could cost over 100,000 pesos. Actually, I had a budget to buy one. Yabang no? But the same logic with the Vespa, gagamitin ko siyang pang practice. Tapos baka sumayang lang lang kami, masira ko agad. Sayang at masakit sa bulsa, di ba? Pero, bakit nga ba e-bike ang gusto kong pag-practisan? Because when it comes to learning how to balance, it is like the same when riding a gas-fueled scooter. Mas magaan nga lang syempre ang e-bikes. Itong si Reddit, mabigat siya but not as heavy as most scooters out there. But it feels like you are really riding a real gas scooter. And of course, the price! Most e-bikes cost lower than gas-fueled bikes. I saw an e-bike same as my Reddit at a mall which was being sold at a price of 70,000 pesos. I did my research and found out that it could also be bought at Tondo and Chinatown kung saan doon binabaksak ang mga new deliveries of e-bikes. So I went there and found what I was looking for. Nakita ko si Reddit, brand new daw, pero may mga konting gasgas here and there. Kumbaga, di siya pumasa sa QA, kaya binenta siya sa akin for half its price. Ako naman, I didn't think twice. I bought him and had him delivered home agad-agad. Like, now na. Reddit looks like Marvel's The Iron Man with its red collar and round headlight. Diba? So, to make it appear a little less so, I put white stripes decals as I was inspired sa look ng new scooters kasi magkamukha sila. Right? Other features of my Reddit bike is its sound alarm system which you can control using the key fob. You can also lock the bike using the key fob as a remote control. And if someone tries to ride on it and you forgot to activate the sound alarm, have no fear. The e-bike's tires will not spin. It will not bulge. Hence, hindi mo rin mapapagulong ang gulong para mailayo ang bike. So let's check the dashboard of my e-bike. Yo no. Okay, so kinda full bar siya ngayon. Uh, so far I ran 1897 kilometers since I first bought it. Kasi nga naman we did the subdivision and 
outside the subdivision lang ako but never really in sa highway uh, so as you can see side mirrors at saka yung design na handlebar niya is naked and you can see here the brake fluid nakalabas din I love the design of this meron din siyang mini windshield and I love this part the pocket where you can put all your coins your cell phone it doesn't have a charger though for the cell phone although I think abang yata to pwede naman and then yung other cell hook for your gulay board this e-bike has a stop speed of 60 kph when the battery is full However, you will not be able to reach this max speed if your battery is half full or if you are a big heavy guy. It is quite turkey. Kunting pihit mo lang sa accelerator throttle niya, ramdam mo agad ang torque. Di gaya in most 125cc or even 150cc scooters. Overall, I love my e-bike bias aside. Actually, I'm using it daily in delivering stuff for my business and I'm charging it for just once a week long. Charging takes 6 to 7 hours for a full battery charge and that can allow the bike to run up to 60 kilometers or so. Each full charge would cost me around 15 pesos only. So yes, matipid siya. However, I was told by the seller that the battery itself may need to be replaced every two or three years. I still have to find out how true is this, since Reddit is just only a year old with me. And I don't know how much the entire battery will cost me. Nakasave ka nga sa gas expense, pero mahal naman ang battery. But come to think of it, Wala ka nang change oil or other stuff na kailangan i-maintain if you're using um, electric bike, di ba? Actually, I was kind of thinking of selling this e-bike. Since hirap na ako sa parking space sa house, di ko na alam kung saan ko siya na siya ipapark. But the pros of keeping it outweighs the cons. Reddit is a, my workhorse. I use him for my business in delivering stuff dahil nga tipid sa gas and when I use him for leisure he also makes me proud he's a head turner he's a looker this Iron Man looking bike if nag ride kami kasama ang Vespa either tatanungin kung Vespa rin ba si Reddit or kung yung Vespa ay e-bike <laughs> so yes I'm keeping this e-bike nabasa ko nga somewhere online EV is the future and I think it will be true that electric bikes and electric cars will take over in the not so distant future and I thank you.